Saturday afternoon special broadcast because CNN first reported last night uh, and now the Justice Department uh, is confirming that coming up on Monday morning a sealed indictment that was delivered Friday uh, against someone in the Trump orbit, probably Mr. Manafort, uh, will be delivered and the police will have a big uh, ceremonial arrest, probably with a SWAT team to make it look like some great criminal activity has been committed. I'm about to give you the inside scoop across the board on what really happened here. Number one, we broke the news back on the 19th of September, and I'm going to go over this in a moment at Newswars.com and Infowars.com from Roger Stone, business partner of Paul Manafort, that he was told a month before, but I could only go public when I was authorized to, that he would be indicted if he didn't roll over and basically make stuff up about Trump. And we were exclusively given that information. And Roger Stone has since talked to Mr. Manafort yesterday and today, but I'm not at liberty to tell you what he told me yet. On Monday, I will be, but it's very bombshell. But here's the main message you need to know. This was held over Manafort's head. He didn't roll over and make stuff up. Didn't sing a, f a, f a false song of Judas Iscariot or Benedict Arnold. So then it was held over Trump's head to roll over to the globalists and to get back into the TPP and keep the borders open and uh, keep you know, letting China screw us over. Trump won't do it either. So they were forced to accelerate uh, the fake indictment, and the word is it is of Manafort and maybe General Flynn, we're not sure, there may be multiple ones we're being told, from this kangaroo court directly from the D.C. swamp. So the swamp has begun the criminal fake indictments. But what we know here uh, is that when you had members of Congress and governors and others call for Mueller to resign last week uh, and call for his indictment and Hillary's indictment and Congress is having criminal investigation hearings and looking at criminal activity uh, to then recommend, you know, obviously to other special counsels uh, of Uranium One, hundreds of millions of dollars, payoffs from the Russians, Mueller and uh, others like Comey killing the investigation with Hillary and her State Department getting hundreds of millions of dollars. Mueller is in more than 10 companies where he didn't have to make investments in Russia, the, the, the customary $10 million. He would just be given stock in these companies. I, I mean, it's cut and dry that no wonder they went after Trump day one that he's a Russian agent uh, because, as uh, many experts have pointed out, the only person that didn't collude with the Russians was Donald Trump. I mean, you got John McCain, you've got Mueller. They are really concerned because they did sell us out to the Russians. Uh, obviously, their junior uh, group compared to the communist Chinese we've really sold out to. But here's the big news. They need to basically cover up the number one news story in the country that Mueller uh, needs to resign, that Hillary's a criminal, that the whole Russia thing was really the Democrats. As all this comes out, as FBI informants are allowed to testify that they were threatened, you know, basically with their life and their business and their families if they didn't stop reporting the payoffs to Hillary, Mueller, uh, and hundreds of other Democrats. I mean, the Democrats are just completely sold out to the Russians. That's historically who sells out to the Russians, not the Republicans. But th that's changed the last few years with uh, uh, you know, folks like McCain and others sold out to Saudi Arabia as well. So here's the other big takeaway. They're doing that to cover up the fact that they've been caught red-handed accusing the Trump, America first, resurgence of the Republic. Boy, the Russians were behind that. Thank you. But of course they're not. They need to flip that around. But the other big news is, as we have in this article by Paul Watson, uh, from September 20th. You can see my breakdown on September 19th and the 18th when we first broke it. Now I'm going to show you how we broke it first here in a moment and show you the New York Times six days later, word for word, reporting what we reported from our source, Roger Stone, confirming and from their sources in the Mueller camp that indeed it was true because we're the real news. We're the real news leader. That's why they attack us and say we aren't because they can't stand the real thing existing while they don't. In here we talk about the big enchilada and that's federal grand jury tampering. The fact that they told Manafort uh, a month before this, well, look, we've got the indictment. So you either roll over and do this, or you're going to prison for a long time. And it's not about Russia, it's about other countries paying him legally and not supposedly filing tax forms right or something. Okay, something nobody's ever actually been indicted for, they're saying. But that's what they're claiming. They may claim obstruction too, because he didn't answer questions just right. So there's not a crime there, but the new crime is classically, supposedly the FBI saying you lied to them because they're federal officers. That law needs to be removed. It's unconstitutional. So you've got the grand jury that is a puppet of the swamp, the D.C. swamp, 
who voted 93% for Hillary Clinton, classically would indict a ham sandwich, would indict Jesus Christ, you know, if, if he was here with us in, uh, in the flesh today, if Mueller uh, said so. This is Mueller that covered up for the Bushes, covered up 9-11, covered up for the Clintons, covered up for Obama, his puppet Comey. Uh, this is Mueller that took the Islamic terrorists out of the database and said Islam cannot be involved in terror. And so they started that whole thing saying, don't say the word Islamic terror. I mean, Mueller is a monster. This is just the, the, the gold standard of deep state, entrenched, entitled corruption. And they're so arrogant that they would tell. They would tell Manafort, listen, we've got an indictment. So you, they've already indicted you. So you just go ahead and say what we want and we won't indict you. And then two months later, two months later, after we first broke that, they're getting ready to indict him, and the word is others. And they brought a bunch of people in. You go out and target hundreds of people, you drag them into the FBI, somebody's going to say whatever the FBI wants them to say to basically bear false witness to do this. And you've got this paradox where you've got incredible corruption of the Clintons, incredible corruption of Obama. You've got them doing thousands of times what they claim Trump ever did. With Trump, they've got his son, Donald Jr., meeting with a woman that said, I have evidence of Hillary's collusion. Well, he deserves a medal for that. They were over in Russia trying to get Russians to lie with PPGate dossier, with Democratic money, and lied to Congress and violated federal election laws, fraudulently paying for it, and then had the FBI pay $50,000 on top of it for the fake dossier. So you've got the very corrupt Mueller controlled through his puppet Comey FBI that's leaking information, lying about classified info, lying about meetings with the president, lying about wiretapping the president, caught in the act right in front of everybody, of creating, taking the fake Republican dossier, then taking it, the, the Democrats get it, adding a bunch of PP stuff to it, then lying to Congress about who did it. And the president, now as the president, he knows all this. He has all this intelligence, and he's sitting there watching the Democrats all completely in bed at the top with the Russians. Hundreds of millions of dollars, huge stock brokering deals, brokerage firms, you name it. Just here, sign up, you get tens of millions of dollars. We're your friends. You know, come here, get half a million dollars for a speech. The total sellout of this country, that's what globalism is. Trump's saying that's going to end. The sellout by the swamp of America is going to stop. And the swamp goes, no, you're not. Swamp. Indict. Two months ago, they got the indictment. We got the indictment. Okay, you're not going to do what we said? Have a grand jury meeting. Act like we're having an official meeting. Claim they indicted him right there. Boom. Do the official indictment. That's called parallel construction. And they've been caught doing this over and over and over again. Remember, two months before Hillary supposedly talked to the FBI, they already signed a memo, gave it to her, saying the investigation is closed, you've done nothing wrong, you're a wonderful lady, we reviewed all the stuff, we reviewed the emails, you're a wonderful person. Of course, she committed all those crimes on their face, illegal server, all of it. Didn't matter. But to the public, they said she's under investigation to the very end, right through the election. But they actually ended it privately. So it's all rigged, ladies and gentlemen, totally and completely fake. They think you're a moron. They think you're an idiot. And I'm going to have more live broadcasts today, more live broadcasts tomorrow, as this develops at Infowars.com and Newswars.com. And just remember, they had the nerve to say Tucker Carlson was probably a Russian agent when the leader of the Democrat Intelligence Committee um, was on Fox. They said, oh, you don't agree Trump and everybody's a Russian? You are on their payroll, is what Schiff said. And then they said it about me, and they said it about Trump's family, and then they said it about anybody that dared challenge them. They'd go, you better watch it. We'll call you a Russian, too. When they're the ones going back to the time of the Un-American Activities Committee, the House Committee on Un-American Activities, of course, run by the guy that's been proven to actually have been on target, uh, who they claim ran the whole Red Scare that's turned out in declassified files to be dead on, Joseph McCarthy. So they're the party that was always in bed with the Russians and the Communist Chinese after that and anything un-American. We all know that. They're the hate America group. They're the ones trying to blow up the stock market recovery and kill the tax cuts and keep Obamacare in place to bankrupt the economy. And Ezekiel Emanuel says, it's designed to bankrupt the economy. Cloward and Piven, then we're going to take over. He said that on Fox twice. They say, we're going to blow up the economy. We're going to make you poor, not let free market work so we can have socialism and command and control, but have offshore banks that are tax-exempt and be filthy rich. 
Just like Obama told Africans, you can't have cars or air conditionings, but I can. I mean, just the arrogance of Mueller with him and his other lawyers with matching ties. You know, they come out with the same pattern of tie, just different colors. They all get together like a bunch of little girls and get, you know, have, get all dolled up for their big event and look real solemn. And, hmm, hmm. and then there's just a bunch of crooks. I mean, literal red-handed crooks. Complete cookie jar, hand in the Russian cookie jar, were so arrogant thinking Hillary was going to get elected president that while she was at the State Department, they were just hand over fist Russian deals, uh, EU deals, Mexican deals, uh, Saudi Arabian deals, Chinese deals. I mean, my God, Hollywood's already been bought up by the communist Chinese during these people. Talk about national security risk. We've been completely sold out. Turns out Hillary, under these deals, was giving them missile secrets to Russia and technology, and Mueller was involved in companies getting money from that. I mean, this guy is literally worse than the Rosenbergs. And it's been said, big editorials are out at NewsWars.com with a lot of top lawyers like Gorka and others saying that in the 1950s, Hillary would have been sent to the electric chair for what she's already been caught doing with Uranium One. But, it, but see, the former FBI director and the other former FBI director and Rosenstein and all of them have been in the cookie jar. You've got a ring of people on the Russian payroll confirmed. This isn't speculation. This is all confirmed. And the minute they get in, they go, Russia, Russia, Russia. Get them for Russia. Find any Russia connection. Hope somebody forgets somebody they talked to once. Call that perjury. Because it's perjury to the FBI. Because they're like the judge. I claim you said something wrong. You're going to prison for that. That's why the FBI came here. We wouldn't even talk to them. I'd say, talk to the hand. Uh, simply because they'll send some leftist FBI here and claim I said something that wasn't true later and throw me in jail, even though I haven't committed a crime. So, this country is in so much trouble, folks. We're a clique of corrupt former FBI Democrat operatives in bed with the communist Chinese, the Russians, you name it, turn it around when we're trying to reboot the country, we're trying to bring the country back, it's happening, and they're more pissed off than Yosemite Sam hopping around, screaming, trying to trying to blow everything up right in front of you. Doesn't matter. You go ahead and get rid of Trump. You go ahead and get rid of me. You go ahead and do whatever you want. All over the world, globalism's in trouble. We know about your scam. Where internal people inside the country go sell out to foreign multinational corporations and create global government systems and claim that's the authority. Your TPP's dead. It's all dead. We're aware of your scams, and in the end, you're all going to prison. All over the world, populists are being elected. The last two weeks, four countries we've taken back. So you're done, criminals. You're done. You understand? You can have all your kangaroo courts, have your swamp, indict whoever you want. Point your finger at everybody and say, everybody's a Russian agent. Tucker Carlson's one. I'm one. Everybody's one. But you. Everybody's one. But you, who's got so many Russian connections, I'm surprised you don't move over there. We're the Americans. We're the patriots. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. I'd die before I sold out the republic in my family. You're all a bunch of scum and you know it. You hate this country. Because here's the deal. When you sell a country out to feel good about it, you have reasons to hate it. You ever wonder why the left hates America so much? Because they're a bunch of parasites that have been robbing and looting the country forever and creating all the major problems. Guess what? I hate you too. And you're a bunch of losers. You got that? So you go ahead with your old kangaroo indictments because everybody sees it. This isn't the stage stuff with Nixon. Everybody knows what crooks you are. You're trying this in the middle of a major revolution, globally, and a major turning, and you're all going to get indicted. Mark my words. You're pushing it all the way to the edge. Mark my words when the dust all settles. Hillary Clinton, Robert Mueller, James Comey, William Jefferson Clinton, the illegal tarmac meetings with Loretta Lynch, Mark my words, when it's all said and done, you're the ones that are going to get indicted and you're the ones that are going to get convicted. But you're all a bunch of old mummies up there. With all your senile Pelosi and Hillary as your figureheads. What a bunch of idiots. The whole world's already turned against you. You had not figured that out yet? The whole corporate media is collapsing. Everything you control, the NFL, Hollywood, Time Incorporated is laying off half their employees. You're all jokes. You're a sinking ship. And you see us in the lifeboats and think we're the enemy trying to blow us up. Guess what? Your plan to bring down the country failed. Now let's go ahead and show a clip of Roger Stone on the 18th of September. All of this is just leverage. In other words, 
Manafort, we're going to indict you and send you to jail on this trumped up charge if you will just admit that you are colluding with the Russians and say Donald Trump knew everything, we'll let you off the hook. In other words, they want Paul Manafort to become John Dean. They want him to lie. They want him to bear false witness against our president and say things happened that never really happened. All right, hit pause. Roger's done. Now that's from over a month ago. Okay? Now, look right here. We broke it September 18th. That article's from September 19th. September 26th, Paul Manafort expects to be indicted. Longtime Trump advisor says, Sources, Manafort has been told he will be indicted. Mueller's prosecutors say it's a done deal. Jur Federal grand jury tampering. And look at the date. September 19th. Who breaks it? Who's the real news? See that? All right, that's it for this uh, live transmission. What's the takeaway? They told Manafort, you start singing or we'll have our puppet grand jury out of the swamp, the D.C. swamp, literally indicting. I mean, the swamp's got tentacles out towards New York trying to grab the Trump family, going after Manafort, going after me. I mean, they've had the Federal Elections Commission head, lady, Democrat, say she wants me arrested. Says he is a Russian agent. He got money from the Russians. I want Alex Jones shut down. That's like saying I'm from Pluto and I'm a purple Easter bunny. I mean, you, you're, you're a sick witch, lady. And, and so I got there's just tentacles like grabbing because they did it. What are you going to do when you are sold out the Russians? You're going to point your finger and go, you're a Russian, you're a Russian, you're a Russian, you're a Russian, you're a Russian. But got all the other fingers pointing back at you. So, federal grand jury tampering, clearly. Just like they criminally had already ended the Hillary investigation while they were lying about that. I mean, the crimes they've committed, Mueller and and all the rest of these people, just ending the Russian uh, Uranium One criminal investigation, having the good FBI agents shut down to stop them getting one-third of our uranium. It's not just 20%. Um, you've got them launching all this because it broke uh, all the Uranium One news and all the sellout news and the fake dossier news was the number one story. They were in trouble, so they got to get back in front of the news with Mueller walking around with his little attache case going, I'm John Wayne. I'm going to battle the Ruskies. Yeah. Folks want to make America great again and it's actually happening? That's a Russian plan. We're going to stop it. All right. Never mind. I'm in bed with the Russians and killed criminal investigations. Into Hillary getting hundreds of millions. No, no big deal. They put me on the board of all these Russian companies. And I'm on the tarmac giving them uranium and attache cases. Oh, I forgot that. Never mind that. <laughs> No, this is people want to make America great. People want to bring our industry back in. People that turned our coal plants back on, the, to, to lower electricity prices. People that put our miners back to work. Don't you worry. I'm Robert Mueller, and I'm here with Obama and Hillary and the Bushes, and we're going to make sure we make you all poor and break this country's back. I'm Robert Mueller, and I promise that I'm going to bring this country down. I promise. I will destroy America, and I will destroy your future, because I'm a big sack of evil filth that just right out in front of you has all the Russian deals and on tarmacs to the FSB. Here's the uranium. Ah, yeah. yeah. Just, 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 just imagine Trump on tarmacs. Yeah, uranium. Just, yeah. Uranium. Just the criminals. They're fake grand jury. How about they have the D.C. grand jury indict all the rest of America? How about the other 325 million of us all get arrested? And Mueller's just God up on a cloud floating around. I'm Mueller! By the way, Facebook's been banning us doing live streaming. They won't ever say why. They just say it's politically incorrect. Yeah, I bet the truth is. So we use sub accounts, friends accounts, you name it, even get these out. So they don't want you to see this video. Hand share it. Copy it to your own channels. YouTube, Vimeo. People always ask, can I use your videos? I'm begging you to get them out. I'm begging you to do your own research and talk about this. Couple things. They had to launch this because they knew their whole Russian narrative was unraveling. They were the Russian operatives. They were just they were selling us out to every country, not just the Russians. It's like it's like we were a whore. They were just pimping us out to whoever. You know, like twenty guys lined up basically. Russia was just you know kind of 
one of the lower level customers. China's got like a hundred guys just bleh, 24/7, and you know Russia kind of waters by every week and rapes us a little bit. But you know that's how it works. You know Mueller's sitting there and he, America's begging for lubrication. You know screw you, here's some sand. You know kick you in the face. Yeah, take that. We're globalists. We're gonna run your ass to the ground. Just like McCain said, screw your nationalism and screw America. Literally, everybody's like, yeah, we rule it. You don't rule crap, parasites. You took over while we were asleep. So they got. Grand jury, federal grand jury tampering, that's that's right out in the open. They got fake investigations uh, where, where they're not really investigating Hillary, and they tell and they tell her, so we got her red-handed. Got them lying to Congress, got them obstructing justice, got them leaking classified information, and then you get into all the Russia sellouts, and then the China sellouts. Like Newt Gingrich said last week on Fox, he said, yeah, let's investigate China, too, and watch what happens there. Oh, yeah. You're opening Pandora's box. Just get ready. There ain't going to be many Democrats don't go to prison or don't get indicted. But they're just arrogant and senile, and they walk around with other sycophants around them. So they all think Hitler thought he was going to win in his bunker till the final day when there were Russians 100 yards away. That's how you are. You still hadn't figured it out, assholes. Well, love the audience. Love you all. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. And uh, look for Manafort to, uh, for the indictment to be released Monday. There may be others. And they're going over stuff with a fine-tooth comb. They've written the laws where... You can't build a barn in your backyard without going to prison. So they've got it figured out where they can commit any crime they want because they're the prosecutors, they're the old deep state. And then anybody that tries to make the country great again, they can find something to send you to prison. But here's the thing the president is his own power. He's got to get, they have to get Congress to have an impeachment in the House, try him in the Senate, and actually remove him. And there's a landslide towards Trump and America again. So this isn't Nixon in his second term getting caught with his burglars doing something. This is the globalists charging in during a global awakening and a global revolution, trying to stop it and trying to kill the figurehead of it politically. And I almost hope they persecute Trump and get him. I've done the calculus, and I don't want this to happen. But an assassination of Trump right now would, would make our victory turbocharged, but probably into some super fascist deal where none of those folks that did it would even get to prison. So I don't want that to happen. But I'm not an old senile globalist that had everything handed to him like these people. I actually launched all this and did this on my own through basic research and history. I'm not an entitled piece of crap like you coastal elites are and all your slaves under you, all the mutants I've seen in your in your mutant cities. I mean, we were just in New York like a damn mutant city. There's not a lot of nice folks too, but you can see the slaves just in a zombie mode. Ugh, I mean, it's scary. Seattle, other areas, very, 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 very sad. There's, there's still people awake in those areas, but man, when you see Mueller and them just strolling above you know, their slaves, it's like that Zuckerberg photo where they're all wearing the AI goggles that really dehumanize them. The virtual reality, he's strolling amongst them like a man. It's amazing. So I've hit all the major points. We told you we were right. It's happening. This is a smokescreen for the Democrats and all they've done. They're involved in massive grand jury tampering. And uh, that's the news. Because you can't tell somebody we already have the indictment. And then have your little fake thing, you know, today. They were going to hold that over Trump's head. Well, they tried to maneuver him into doing what they wanted, but if Trump hasn't sold out America, Trump hasn't gone along with their threats, and he's got incredible courage, we should pray for him, pray for America. Uh, their whole fake criminal investigation of me and Drudge and everybody else that they were trying to launch, that's all been killed. So they're just really, really pissed, okay? All right, folks, uh, great job the crew coming in here. Uh, on the weekend, more transmissions coming to NewsWars.com and InfoWars.com. They're really trying to shut us down right now. They've got all sorts of censorship going on, globalist operations, Soros Group coming after us. Just pray for the operation. Visit InfoWarsStore.com. A lot of big specials, a lot of big deals. If you fund our operation, getting great products at the same time as symbiotic, a win-win, we cannot lose. If you pray for us, if you spread the articles and videos, and if you financially support us, we're going to change the world. We've already come so far together. Just understand, we're now in the thick of the battle. It's more intense now than during the campaign, and everybody knows it. And I'm glad to see America hadn't gone to sleep. The whole world's waking up right now. This is a big time. You heard it here first. You get today's news a year before. You get today's news a decade before at InfoWars.com. That's why the globalists hate us, because we got your six, America. We got your six worldwide, anybody and everybody, no matter what color you are, where you came from. If you want to be free... You care about justice? You want freedom? We're brothers and sisters in arms, and I salute you all.